Welcome to our lecture online and one final video on reduced mass to really understand the concept and the relationship between mass and the radius of the orbits of the small and large object in the binary system. Here's a table that gets us all the way from a one-to-one -one relationship down to a 1,000 to one relationship. So in the first case, Let's say that the large mass and the small mass essentially are the same. So there's no large and small mass. They're equal in size. And so therefore, we can see that the reduced mass is now one half. And the radius of the orbit of the small mass, which would have to be the radius of the orbit of the large mass, since they're the same size, is one half the total distance between them. And that makes perfect sense. If they're the same size, the barycenter will be right in the middle. And the radii will be the same for both orbits. Notice that the ratio of the small to the large radius, or the radius of the small object to the radius of the large object, is one to one. But then things begin to change when we have a different ratio. The large mass is twice the small mass. The reduced mass becomes two-thirds the mass, and I guess I should actually put an M behind it because otherwise it doesn't make any sense. So, there we go. So the reduced mass is two-thirds the mass of the of the uh, small object. And then we can see that the radius of the small object is two-thirds the total distance, where the radius of the large object is one-third, the ratio is two to one. So if we have a two to one ratio of the large mass to the small mass, we have a two to one ratio of the radius of the, sm of the or orbit of the small object to the radius of the orbit of the lar large object. And you can see that that ratio continues all the way down. Notice that the reduced mass continues to increase as the large mass becomes larger with respect to the small mass. You can see that the reduced mass gets closer and closer and closer to the value of the small mass. And of course, when the large mass becomes really large relative to the mass of the small mass, then you can see the reduced mass approaches one times the mass of the, um, of the small mass. Then the reduced mass and the small mass will essentially be the same. Notice that the radius of the orbit of the small mass also becomes almost equal to the, the distance between the two masses and that the radius of the large mass, the orbit of the large mass, of course, becomes very tiny as the barycenter begins to move inside the object, inside the mass of the large, uh, inside the volume of the large object. So there you can see the relative relationship between the mass of the large object to the mass of the small object the ratios of their radii of their orbits, the individual value of those two radii, and then the value of the reduced mass. And so that table gives us a kind, kind of like a nice perspective of how things change as the relative size of the two objects in the binary system change. And that is how we get a very good understanding, I hope, of the concept of the reduced mass.